Egyptian geese are one of the oldest domesticated species and were first kept by the ancient Egyptians around 3100 BC. Although ancient Egyptians are known for their love of cats, they had been keeping Egyptian geese as household pets for hundreds of years before they even started to keep cats. These geese often appeared in their artwork and may have been treated as sacred. Egyptian geese are powerful but heavy flyers and it takes them a lot of effort to take off. For this reason, they will often try to walk, waddle or run away from danger, only resorting to flying if they feel really threatened. Despite their name, Egyptian geese are not really geese at all, but are actually a member of the shell duck family. This means that they are closer related to mallards than they are to other types of geese. This video was filmed in the UK, far far from the native range of the Egyptian goose and that has been made possible thanks to people introducing them around the world. Egyptian geese can now be found living in the wild across most of Europe, North America, New Zealand and of course in their native Africa. They are now the most widespread African waterfowl on the planet. Egyptian geese often nest very high up on roofs and in the crown of trees. As their parents don't feed them, the newly hatched goslings must make a leap of faith when they first hatch to reach the ground below. Sometimes these nests can be tens of meters high and the goslings rely on their soft, downy feathers to cushion their impact with the ground. Most birds will wait until the spring to lay their first batch of eggs, but not the Egyptian goose. In Africa, they can breed all year round and they are usually one of the first waterfowl in the UK to nest and begin rearing their young. In some years, pairs have been spotted with newly hatched young in early January or even late December. In the wild, Egyptian geese can live for between 15 and 25 years. They are monogamous and once they have chosen a mate, they will stay together until one of them dies. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then you might also like 7 Facts About Mallards or this other British wildlife video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.